Hi guys, I'm so excited to have one of my bunny sisters on today. We talk about everything from living in New York to social media, the awkwardness of COVID, and also she's going to set the record straight on some of the personal stuff going in her life, and it's a really important chat that we have, so I hope you enjoy. Super quick, this is a really great episode, and me and Shanice had a lot of fun making it, but it's important that I do put out a trigger warning. In this episode, we do bring up themes of mental health, harassment, and some themes of suicide. So if that's triggering to you, maybe this episode isn't for you, but if you wanna keep watching, I hope you enjoy. And we had a lot of fun. There is a lot of fun in it, okay? But there are some things. Hi guys! So as promised, I said I would bring on some of my bunny sisters and I'm so excited because I have Shanice here. Shanice <laughs> Jordan, is that, is that how we're still uh, introducing you? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so my name is Shanice Jordan, and yes, I'm a playmate. I met Sydney at the Playboy Club in New York. We used to work together, um, and yeah, we just became friends ever since she scooted her chair up to Jordan and I, and was like, hey. <laughs> you love telling that story. Um, I'm going to tell it from my perspective. I had missed the first like introduction day to Bunny Town. I missed the first day and I was like, oh, you know, like I'm not gonna make any friends. And then like everybody was just like in their little groups. And I was like, there's these two black girls over there. I'm gonna go say hi to them. And I was like, hi. <laughs> um, so me and Shanice used to love going out in New York. This is pre-pandemic. We're gonna talk pre-pandemic and then we're gonna talk post-pandemic because um, we are very different now than we were when the pandemic was started. <laughs> Um, um, pre-pandemic we used to love going out and we would go um, in Harlem quite a bit oh yes that was a crazy night when um, you came to my apartment in Harlem and we took my roommates out and we went to this random place in Harlem and we were like it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fun oh my god what was that place called I can't even tell you. I don't remember. It was just like some random bar on the corner and it was busy. So we we're like, oh, let's go in and check it out. And we went in. <laughs> we went in and everybody knew we were there. I will tell you that. <laughs> I remember that one guy came up to us. He was like, so what's going on here? And it was like two like white guys, me and you, they're like together. And like, we're just, we were wearing like tomboy clothes. Like, it was so weird. And then, really want to go out. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then we um we went downtown after that too. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. What's the place with the slide? I miss that place. Slate. 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 <laughs> we went to Slate. We went down the slide. We had a good night. That was a good night. That, that was, was actually that was really fun. Oh, yeah. I miss those nights. I miss course. stuff like that. Yeah, we can still do that today. It's just a little different. So like the difference is. Do I have to wear a mask? <laughs> like, oh, like, do I have to show my vaccine card? Do I have to have my vaccine card? Like, it's so, it's completely different. And then, like, even, like, talking to guys, I'm like, mm, you. <laughs> and, like, drinking, like, we were never, I used to drink after people all the time. I mean, a lot time. of people, yeah, all the time. Like, I wasn't even thinking about, but now I'm like, oh, like, do I even want to drink out of their cups? Like, <laughs> <laughs> we went out we went out like um this fall you were here yeah. and um we went somewhere and you ordered like a really cute drink and I was like what is that and I was like gonna drink it and then I was like wait let me get a little straw <laughs> yeah so I feel like the difference now is we're we have to think more and it's just killing the vibes because <laughs> we're yes. thinking so much about our next move and like oh my god what, what if he touched me you you like I don't want to get like sick blah 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 oh, like <laughs> and it's just it's completely different <laughs> so let's, let's talk about that because um we both had a really some weird awkward things happen like this week I would say like as far as like going out and like trying to be normal again and then like it being the pandemic so you were texting me you were at a um I don't know was it a party was it a dinner what was it it was um a birthday party so my friend had a friend that <laughs> it was his birthday and there was like a kickback before and then we went to dinner and then we went to a club that's yeah. a lot <laughs> but these texts I, I should pull them up and read them but I'm 
the thread is the thread is too long. Our thread is insane. But no, you were like, you were like, this is so fucking awkward. And I just like <laughs> I was like, calm down, just breathe. You'll have fun, just breathe. <laughs> and I'm never like that. I think it was kind of awkward just because I didn't know the guy and the guy like wanted to take photos with me. And I was like, it's like my situation that I'm going through right now. I'm just like, do not take a photo with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, do not. <laughs> We're going to get to that too. We're going to get yeah, to that so too. I feel like everything is just awkward from COVID to that to like, getting used to like a normal life again I'm just like oh yeah like what is normal like I was at I was at this man's house <laughs> I'm probably gonna cut this part out but I was at this man's house and I was like um sitting on his couch crisscross applesauce eating vegan mac and cheese uh <laughs> six feet away from him <laughs> yeah see like it's just I don't even know like <laughs> it's just it's weird it's not like the same I'm sure I'll get there but it takes time yeah it takes time (laughs) well part of the reason why I'm having Shanice on is Shanice wants to um set the record straight on like something that's going on and I was like of course come on the Sydney show right (laughs) (laughs) and I'm here yeah okay so I'm setting the record straight because I'm tired of people having the wrong story and only hearing his part which is I'm sure everyone knows (laughs) Norman Towns (laughs) just to let everyone know we were not together (laughs) okay so what happened was last January he was sick um he went to Tulum with some guys he was sick for like two weeks I had him um go on my computer to edit some videos for me and of course on the Mac your text messages are saved on there yeah from years okay so apparently he wasn't editing my video he was going through my messages from like years ago of guys I've talked to so okay so I'm gonna kind of shorten this but anyways um back in like May he was acting kind of strange like he was like kind of like stood off a little like didn't talk to me as much. And I was like, what is going on? Cause we FaceTime like five times a day. I remember that. Yeah. You, know, you were like, yeah, like we went to Hawaii together. Like it was just super strange. And just to let you know, he never, so when he was on my computer, he found these messages of me talking to these guys. They were kind of like dirty messages, but once again, I didn't know Norman at the time. And Norman and I were not dating. We were it was not like way before dating. Is that this what you're saying? Before? Yes. <laughs> okay. So I'm not sure why Norman didn't bring up these messages to me when he found them in January, but he kept these messages hidden from me and waited until I found something on him. And then he brought up those old messages. So I found a photo of him in his phone of him kissing some girl and the funny thing is the girl he was kissing was a girl that he facetimed with me three weeks ago well not three weeks ago back then um and he was like oh that's my homegirl she's effing weird and yet he was uh, kissing her on phone like it made no sense anyways I found that did you ever find out why would someone have a picture like that on their phone like my point so that's why I was super upset. I'm like, Norman, why do you even have this picture saved in your phone knowing I'm going to find it? He tried to say he was drunk. He was like, oh, I was drunk and I just never like went back to my phone. I'm like, Norman, you are on your phone all the time. You go through your messages all the time. You go through your photo album, looking at yourself all the time. You pass by this photo. Um, So yeah, he was just like, I just didn't delete it. He supposedly deleted it then. Okay, whatever. Anyways, we were not together. (laughs) You were never officially Officially together. I never cheated on him. Okay. Never. But we were with each other every single day. Went on vacation Uh together. Like quarantine or like COVID? Quarantine every day, like every single day. So we were like getting there. It was really close. So Norman got upset because I was in Miami with my ex. He found out, 
he went to his social media. He uh, then screenshotted all the messages that he had and put them on social media. And of course, on social media, it's going to look like we were dating and we we're together. And he even told people that we were boyfriend, girlfriend. We were not boyfriend, girlfriend. Those messages were made up. Half, some of them were me. Yeah, I was acting a little crazy, like, doopity-doopity-doo, like, <laughs> crazy niecey, ooh. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, I was, I'm gonna, like, I, that, some of that was me, but I was never at his house. I was out of town most of the summer. Um, those messages of me, like, saying, like, I was sleeping outside of his apartment, not true. Mm. Um that I was going to like kill him. Not true. I was never in LA and I have proof of this. Um, but just those crazy, crazy, crazy messages were not me. And Norman and I just, once again, were never together. <laughs> um, that's really important because like there have been some articles that came out and like some of the like Instagram, like chat blogs, whatever, you know, they mentioned like that it was like boyfriend, girlfriend. And, you know, it's important that people know that like you guys were, you didn't have titles and no, there was fault on titles. both sides. Wouldn't you say that there was like fault on both sides? Yes. There's fault on both sides. And I just don't like, he's just one of the guys that want to get clout from doing this and going viral and he got verified from it which I'm kind of upset because I could probably get verified too. <laughs> I can't we all want to be verified. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, he got what he wanted. He got his blue check mark and yeah, he did his thing, but he did lie about a lot, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. And I couldn't even go on my Instagram. That's why I can't get back in right now. Cause I logged off for two weeks and yeah. So that's I bad. think you should, I think you should mention, um, you know, you were like the harassment that you were getting after these articles came out because like the things oh, that yeah. you had like screenshot and sent to me, like that was scary. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was, so I was getting so much harassment from people. Um, after the article came out, like I said, I had to log off my Instagram and I, my phone was off the wall. Like it was ringing so much. It was crazy. And I, like I said, I was in Miami with a friend and I had to leave because I was like, I couldn't, I got my, I was mentally like messed up. <laughs> like I was like, I gotta go. So, yeah. but yeah, I just was getting text messages from like girls, like random girls saying like, Oh, you should like kill yourself. You need to do this. Like you suck. Like, it's just so uh, like, it was so bad. And uh, even like I was getting like calls and like girls like telling me go kill yourself and like hanging up the phone and like it was ridiculous. You know, um, mental health is like really important to me, and I feel like what you went through, like the way that people treated you after, like that's really messed up. But it, you know, people need to look at it and look at it as being like this was a real relationship. Like uh, you guys cared for each other before things like blew up. Yeah. And like, if you just like remember that, then you wouldn't be like going to a stranger and telling her to like kill herself. Cause that's never okay. Exactly. People are like just weird. People are weird. Also, I lost a lot of my real friends um, over this situation. So I kind of found out like who was there really there for me and who wasn't there for me. <laughs> like they're gone. I don't talk to nobody. Like, because well, I don't, I don't know if they're just sick of like everything that I've been going through with him and they just don't want to hear like my drama anymore. So they're just like, oh, whatever. I don't want to deal with it. So they just like just blocked me on everything. Like it sucks. <laughs> well, I think that's important too to mention you and him like knew each other from your hometown, like further back. Yeah. So you had mutual friends and that's really sad that you um, feel like that you lost them because of the situation too. Like this whole thing has just been blown out of proportion. Exactly. And it's like, people don't understand. People think it, I'm the bad person. He made me feel like I'm the bad person. And I honestly, okay, I might've acted a little crazy, but so did he. And like, it's still going on to this day. Yeah. So that's what I'm dealing with still to this day. Um, it's getting a little better, but I mean, it sucks. I'm just trying to like heal from it. It's hard for me to trust somebody now because I'm like, like I said, um, the guy last weekend asked me to take a photo with him and I'm like, no, because where is he going to put that photo? Like now I'm like, oh my God, what if he posts this on like an Instagram and I yeah. look really ugly and like, cause like Norman did that. Like I had like photos of myself where I'm like looking like, mm, like, mm, like stupid, yeah. like looking around and he posted that stuff. So now I'm just like, 
I don't even want to like just go there anymore. So and now that all that's over, I know you're still dealing with some of it, but like, you know, we're still super young and we're pretty looking girls. We deserve to get married. Okay. Um, <laughs> what is, what is like, I mean, how are you dating now? Like, what is that like to even just like, talk to guys now that you've been through something so traumatic? Um, I am not dating right now. <laughs> um, I don't know when I will date. Probably not for a while, not until I'm done with dental hygiene school. Um, but yeah, I definitely, I try to have like a little date last weekend and I was traumatized the whole time. <laughs> like even when he tried to take photos of me with him, I was like, no, please, no, do not take photos of me because I'm scared it could be another Norman situation where yeah. I look super ugly in the photo and he posts on freaking Instagram and like it blows up like I don't know like I'm like trying to protect myself so like I'm just trying to heal right now I I don't even want like guy friends <laughs> like I'm just like stay away <laughs> yeah it's hard to know like who to trust when you yeah. have something like that I mean like people get like that like after a breakup like I've had bad breakups before and been like super weirded out after so I can't even imagine like what you're going through yeah and then like it's just weird it's it's not I've never felt like this <laughs> no I, I I totally get what you're saying but sometimes it's good to like have some time to like be with yourself which I just like finished up some of that time myself. Mm -hmm. um, good. So for the record, I would like to say that I wanted to start a podcast with Shanice in 2019. And she was like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, sure. But then like, we never tried it. And then all of a sudden COVID happens 2020 and everybody gets a podcast. Now I want to do it. <laughs> yeah, so I will say for my followers, if you appreciate this content of me and Shamise, um, we can definitely do it more um, if this like pops off. So <laughs> let me know. <laughs> it will. It will. Uh -huh. <laughs> the awkward SNS show. <laughs> SNS. Um, yeah. What, whatever happened to JJSS? we're still here <laughs> two of them are just on the east coast yeah we split up we had a group y'all we had this jjss group me shanice uh jasmine and jordan it was super cute we used to zoom all four of us in the store. <laughs> so shanice actually has a youtube herself um for her fitness account she's like way more into fitness than me like i just do yoga and i'm dancing and stuff but like she like knows what to do with like the machines when you get into the gym so <laughs> tell my followers about that okay so yeah i do have a fitness page um i'm really into fitness and health um it's shanice jordan subscribe um, but so I'm trying to push like the whole modeling thing over to the fitness side and dental hygiene, fitness and dental. So my, um, YouTube page is me working out, doing like at home workouts because a lot of people are still like iffy about going to the gym. Um, I do have some gym workouts too. Um, I will start putting out some dental, like me, once I get into dental hygiene school, like cleaning teeth and like what kids need to do how to keep up with their teeth and parents should really push kids brushing their teeth because it's very important when they get older um but yeah so fitness travel I'm gonna do a lot more traveling videos um I'm definitely gonna push my TikTok a lot more that's Shanice Jordan as well um but yeah I'm gonna get back on social media a little bit I've had some time off but I feel good now about it <laughs> I love all of our New York stories, um, but the, there was the first time that we hung out in the middle of the pandemic. It was like the summertime. So it was like- We went outside. Time. We went to a park. We went to the park. We went outside. We were socially distancing. And then we decided, let's go out to eat. <laughs> we went out to that, um, I don't know what it was, like the restaurant. It was a restaurant in Harlem. Bistro. Bistro. Yeah, something. yeah, that bistro place. And then we had to sit outside and there was music. That was so awkward because we were sitting outside. Sitting and we were like, like 
right along here the street car. The car, yeah. like, car like right here and we're in harlem so they're like blasting like dominican music like loud and we're just like trying to talk we can't hear each other we're like yeah. we can't hear each other like our food we were like disinfecting the table flying. um our waiter didn't do anything to the table so we were like we had our own wipes and we were like disinfecting yeah. the table <laughs> there's like like freaking napkins flying like i was like oh this is cute <laughs> That's funny. I think I have a video. I might be able to add that in. And we're like, we're like Paris, like yeah, Paris. Yeah, there's like a pretty like car right behind us. Like, I, I mean, New York does did a good job. New York did a good job of like getting it together. But at the very beginning, when they were like, let's put like tables on the street, <laughs> um, things were not okay. It was so dangerous. <laughs> and then so I love the whole to go cup movement that was cool like <laughs> to go yeah that yeah was, yeah yes I actually had an ex who like went to court for being caught like drinking on a stoop so to think that like in 2020 they were like okay. let's just put it in styrofoam cups you're fine yeah like it's Vegas all over <laughs> So a little bit about our Playboy experience. Um, and we're going to give you some details of stuff that people really don't know. Like people know it was like a restaurant and then a club and then like we wore the outfits. But what people don't know is like we actually went through like some serious training. Serious training. <laughs> like I was not prepared for what we were getting. Like first they told us to watch that documentary and they gave us like the book that we had to learn stuff. And then um, I just remember like learning how to do like the dip and stuff. What do you remember? Always. Yeah, I remember going through training and our manager made us walk in a line with the tray. <laughs> and then he was like, slow down, slow down. Okay, good walking, good walking. <laughs> and he's like, you're walking too fast, slow down. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, he goes, you're walking too serious. <laughs> okay. So we're just like walking in the hallway of our trays and like, yeah doing the like funny dip <laughs> I mean like how I mean we really did use those trays like those trays were all oh, the like it was like I had my outfit and then I had a tray like that was, that's all I had you know I will say I will say the bartenders were super sweet and the guys because they had they started off with having all male bartenders and they really had our back there and like if we needed anything like I remember like Ryan was always giving me those like ginger candies it's like can I have a candy <laughs> yeah yeah they were really nice I met a lot of good guys from the Playboy Club yeah and, and good girls too like I mean we all like separated and like it fell yeah, apart well, that's the obvious reasons because of COVID yeah. but I mean we'd all probably still be in New York if that didn't happen Maybe. isn't that crazy like I don't I think I would still be in New York if the pandemic didn't happen like I have two years left in New York and then I need to go back home and get my career started <laughs> so at least you had a plan I was just like well I'm going to LA <laughs> that's all the time that we have i'm so grateful that shanice came on to be my guest <laughs> um follow her i'm gonna put all her links and um like ig tiktok oh, youtube follow her she really has some amazing stuff and she knows like her fitness stuff and she's coming out with more fitness stuff and yeah oh <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, and all of my Instagram pages. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to figure it out now. But follow me, Shanice Jordan. Um, Shanice Jordan Fitness is my fitness page, and then Shanice Jordan underscore is my main page right now. So yeah. follow me, and then subscribe to my YouTube, Shanice Jordan. <laughs> Yay! Bye, guys. Bye. bye. Squad goals. Squad. <laughs> Thanks.